day five match number 17 the first game of the day will be played between IAS Invincibles they'll be taking on Majis Titans here we go ball number one match number 17 decent shape going away from the left-handed batter dot ball to start wide of the crease outside edge flies over the slip fielder for a boundary hitting the deck hard is out with a direct hit at the non-strikers end and the matter has been referred to the third umpire Abed and the other players they look so convinced for the bit flow of the mark a direct hit there always in trouble the batters and there is a direct hit will be taking a very dejected walk back to the heart the red light says that Nadisha has to go that's gone up in the air he's picked up the length Mehran what a hit what a comeback by Mehran Khan two fielder station outside 30 yard circle yet again this time finds the gap a glorious looking drive Find the gap and ball races towards the fence of the mark in style Mansoor Mazar. In the air but in the gap chased by two fielder the slide coming in from Abid but quick lightning outfield back to back boundaries. Dancing down the track and nicely managed lofted over long on fielder. The second maximum for the stylish Mehran Khan. Steps out, clears the infield. That's a very good shot. Mansoor Maza gets the boundary now. Trying to hit too hard. Just managed to evade the fielder. Second boundary of the over. That's not a good fielding effort. Playing at this level, you should be stopping those boundaries. Trying to bring out that paddle scoop. He has timed that one well and that has gone all the way. Mansoor Mazar has been trying to play this shot for good four days and he has managed to do that. That's a big hit. Shuffling across and hammered over the deep mid wicket. Sluggish. Poor effort coming at short third man, resulting in that boundary. We were talking about that boundary and they have got a boundary. In the Chance, tough chance. It's a back to back boundaries. Nicely bowled by Tikshana. Unlucky the bowler here. But look in control of the proceedings out there in the middle. A freak run out. Takes the outside edge. It's a quick outfield today, this afternoon. Shafiq Jan will not be able to stop that. So getting off the mark with a boundary. It's going to be Abid Khan, one of the most impressive bowlers this tournament has produced. And straight away cleans him up. What a start to the floating power play the Majis Titans have had. As the field suggested, it's going to be short and quick. And this was the slowest that Abid could bowl. And has done the trick. Back of the hand, slow Ooh. one. Mansur Mazar, impressive 29 of 19, but walks back courtesy of Abid. Offside was taken out of equation, not for too long because Muz. Savindu on this occasion, or was it Mudassar, has struck over point and they will accumulate a boundary. Last ball of the floating power play. Bangs it in short. It's a bum ball. Abdul Rauf collects it. No need for an appeal. No need for an empire when you can have honesty on your side. Yeah, just have a look at that. Took him by surprise. He thought it was going to be another slower one or maybe missing his mark by bowling a full length delivery as a result Muzaffar Nasser has to depart and an inside edge this will do a boundary to the name of Haitham plays the paddle I think it's gone all the way and this is supreme timing picks it up it's down the ground, the fielder settling underneath it. Abid Khan does not miss many. He's 
Plays that long on in the arc of the right-hander. Never looking to keep it down. And Abid says thank you very much. This is like a session of fielding practice. Full toss. It's in the air. Fielder settling underneath it. And he's taken it. Abid Khan is in the hot zone as far as catching is concerned. He has a spring in his feet, Abid Khan. It was a full toss. Yasser Dua only managing to find the hands of Abid. Yasser Dua rather. Without troubling the scorers. Six down for IES at 94. Against an on-song Thikshana. Full toss once again. Kept it away for him. Clears the infield. Not going to stop that boundary. So he finally manages to score a few runs of Thikshana in this over. Otherwise it's been four dot balls. This time, he once again keeps it away from the right-hander. But it's going to be really, really disappointed because it's going to be a boundary for Amin Habib. Swung, swung well. There is a fielder in the deep and he will hold on to that. Gutsy move here from Obedullah asking the left-arm orthodox spinner to bowl the very last over in this innings. And... Of course, it was expected that Haitam Bahar Ali as well as Amin Habib are going to go after any bowler that's going to be thrown at them. On this occasion, Haitam Bahar Ali holds out on the leg side. So, he walks for nine. In the arc and the timber is going to be disturbed. Shahzad is going to be walking back. It was slower in the air. And Shahzad just came out with one mode and that is an all-out attack. Takes a jump as well before hitting that. And I believe this was absolutely ugly looking. Swung, swung across the line. This is going to be runs. Imran, who is known for his bowling, has got runs. And as many of, as six of them. And he applauds to the pavilion. Why wouldn't he? It's a rare occasion. Goes for another one. This one's high. Sky high. Aryan Bisht collects it. He's a very good fielder and that's the reason he's at long on. Imran getting a lot of height and not a lot of distance. And hence, it was an easy catch for Aryan Bisht. Third wicket of the over for Yusuf Manik as Imran departs for a maximum to his name. 108 for 9. And that's where IES Invincibles will conclude their innings at. 108 is what they ended up with. I am sure they really wanted a few more runs on their side. It is a batting power play with the ring of fielders. Shahzad oh! the first delivery. Going down the leg side, targeting the stumps on the first ball. Steps out Osama towards the onside, straight in the hands of the fielder. Started with a spinner, with a star spinner. Responded with the call of the captain is Shahzad. A flighted delivery. Yet again in the middle stump. The young hard hitter without troubling the scorers. Osama Akhil, a slow walk back to the hut. Way outside the off stump chance and Muhammad Imran has taken a blinder at third man. It's not easy keeping in mind the sun going down but all eyes wide open. What a brilliant take. Good anticipation there. Low full toss trying to clear that backward point fielder. The dejected Abbas Khan for three. 12 for two Muscat Thunders. Straight in the hands of the fielder. Wicket brings another one. Plan working in favour of Amin. He is bowling wide towards that fifth stem to the right-handers. And this time he finds the man at the point. Haitham Baha, no mistake. Explosive batters, departs. Abdul Rauf manages single. Batting as a left-hander. That's when wide is on both sides. <laughs> Stepping out of his crease. Not waiting for the umpire signal. Faisan. We'll be taking a walk back to the heart and Savindu has struck once again. Missing the line completely. Yeah. Never even able to come back. 
just when we say average glove work, he produces a brilliance. Fezan Abdullah, three of five, and play for the net run rate, get as many as possible, or still go for the chase. This is a good shot, pulled. It was a half tracker to start off with, and this is a good shot by Vishwa. Another heave, another shot, another similar result, a maximum. Vishwa is looking good here. Things not working for Majeez Titans, but it's different for Vishwa here. Big shot. He's taken the aerial route on the leg side. It's a shorter boundary on that side today. Helmet behind him. That's gone up. That's gone up. Fielder coming underneath it. I think it's one of the best. It is Shahzad, the left arm spinner, one of the premium fielders of IS Invincibles, and what an incredible catch he's taken. That bat swing, just have a look. It could be a hit wicket as well. Yes, of course. Shafiq Jan was out in every instance, in every possible way. Adjust for the net run rate. Works it away towards the onside. Will pass the fielder. Fine leg is up in the circle, quite wide as well. And then you've got one at point and long off as well. What a ball. What a ball that is from Amin Habib. If Amin had a day to forget, forget yesterday, today is a day that he will remember for a while. Two wickets in his first over and now he has the back of Vishwa. And he's going to be departing back for 16 of 10 deliveries. 49 required of 19 deliveries. They need to get going. Aryan, the youngster, is on strike. And he is going to be castled. Fourth wicket for Amin. Yeah, well, this is just the pressure of trying to up the ante. Uh, Aryan coming in really late into this batting lineup or into batting out there in the middle. Aryan Bisht, bowled by Amin. Cannot lose faith, especially when you're the captain. Struck just over mid wicket, and this has enough legs. Even the likes of Shahzad cannot cut it off. This is a good shot from Obedullah, one of the recognized batters. Along with Ubaidullah. Swing, swings well. Manik doesn't like my words. And he's got a maximum to his name. This is exactly how you answer a commentator who is not supporting you. Fired it in and fired it. Shows him the way. Once again. Absolutely. Ubaidullah was not looking comfortable out there in the middle. That's it. That's pretty much safe and sound the is invincibles and mehran khan have seen themselves home and crossed the finish line they've completed a resounding victory against the majis titans remember they were put into bat after losing the toss